Hey guys, it's Jimmy here, and welcome back to our anime reaction. Today, we're reacting to the second episode of Villainous of Level 99. That is right. Now, if you guys do not know, I've read the manga for this, which was so freaking good. So when I saw it got its anime adaptation, I was super excited for it. Now, originally, I wasn't planning to react to it here on YouTube because of the fact that there was so much good stuff that came out. And honestly, Classroom, ha Classroom of the Elite hasn't really been the best for me. So I've decided to watch this over Classroom of the Elite. And first episode was amazing. Like, I reacted to it on Patreon. If you want to get the full length reaction, consider supporting me there. Explore exclusive anime reactions, all that jazz. But the first episode was so freaking good. And I literally just watched episode two here today. And I want to share my reaction with you guys because it's so good. Dude, they did the anime, the, the, the manga, the light novel everything justice for the show and you can probably tell my energy that i'm super excited like i literally watched the episode here today and reacted to it. i was like okay yeah i'm making this one of my anime reactions for youtube so if you do enjoy today's anime reactions and you don't want to miss out future anime reactions make sure to smash the like button get subscribed in for right now though let's get into it まさかここまでレベルが上がっていたとは。ご作動だろう。はい。ユミエラドルクネスじゃ。もう。だけどレベルが全然ハイヤーだと言うと。ユミエラドルクネスと申します。ドルクネス白色。中央もどきか。ユミエラ城は私はビルが幼い頃から剣術を人一倍努力しているのを知っている。だからこそ、レベルも入学前に10に達した。君のしたことはそんな彼の頑張りを踏みにじる行為なんだ
弓矢ラドルクネスまだだ素人のふりをするとはどこまでも卑怯な奴め意外と丈夫だなではなくて<笑>大丈夫だろうかこれで何かあったらもしもの時は教師の監督責任を追及する所存<笑>セーフっぽいな<笑>ああ私が保健室に運びましょうかいやいい私が連れて行こう<笑> bro, that's just boring. She's just boring him, bro. Suburico. Oh, not good. Get Kyok, Jugio, Shurio, no Shikama, the Kyoshiga, Modot, the Kurukoto, and Nakata. Sugino, Jugio, Maho, no Jitsugi. No shot, dude. Don't make them do magic. Sasgawa, Ozuard, Grim Zadok. Yotsu no Zokse, or Sweet, it's Kaikonas Nante. Tensai to Yuadu Dakeno Kotoa Arimas, eh? Nani, Taista Kotoa Arimas. Sugiwa Kimi no Banda. どんな素晴らしい魔法を見せてくれるのかな ?This is gonna go so south for him, bro. 余裕だな。ダークフレイン。何を出すかと思えば、豆鉄砲じゃないか。あれは ダークフレイム。炎のような見た目だが、熱さは一切なく。石も金属も溶かしてしまう。硫酸とかを防水に近い魔法で魔物に使うとなかなかグロテスク。今のはまさか。はい。闇魔法です。他の属性はカラッキ
本当に全力でやるのはまずいだろうな適当に力を加減してブラックホール r e l i l y s u m m o n a black hole. Oh, it's so good, dude. She can literally destroy the whole kingdom if she wanted to. Oh. That wasn't even the full extent, dude. どうでしょうか、デンカ。私がレベル九十九だと。I love his reaction. Oh my god. The hidden brawl shows her true strength. Okay, so episode two was pretty good. So first of all, we got of course the main characters doing their own thing with the commoner girl, and of course our girl finally proves her level is past level. Was it? 900 or not 900 level 999 and then in itself it's like everyone's like no 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 not no chance she's that level right because that means she has to be in monsters to even get to that level i i just love the fact that everyone is doubting her because honestly it seems very realistic that no one's going to really believe her and of course we get, we see like the guys like dude i can't believe you're like level 999 doesn't seem real i've been training the sword so like there should be no thought that i'm lower level right other than her and everyone else is doubting him, even his friends are like, yeah, no shot, that's realistic, right? And she's like, I just don't want to hang out with you guys. I just want to do my own thing. I don't want to get off right now. Hey, yo, the girl, the main girl over there, she's actually needs help with because she's got no one to talk to. And of course, by doing so, she progresses the story a little bit faster than the original plot line, which is just interesting to think about. So plot manipulation, I don't know. But the thing with that is now is that the, every time they interact, it seems like the story is pacing faster and faster. Will that have negatively affect her how she gets, uh, you know, butchered? Probably not. I feel like her level is going to really save her in this series. And I don't think anyone's going to really mess with her, especially after the innocent, 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 innocent incident here today. I can't get that word out for some reason. Um, but yeah, no, they just do the whole arc thing. They use dark magic. And I love it how they use dark magic, right? Everyone knows like, hey, there's different qualities of magic. Of course, dark magic is one of those magics that's very more rare, like light magic. Not many people have it. But we do know that uh, Palace Mages have used it in the past. And it's not technically an evil magic. It's just unfortunate that it's associated with evil sometimes around. So it's funny when the lady's like, oh, okay, guys, it's not bad magic. It's just like, hey, don't associate with that. It is a magic that monsters use, but it doesn't mean it's all bad. You know what I'm saying? It's like the same thing as going somewhere and uh, seeing somebody who has a weapon and then maybe they're protecting themselves. That doesn't mean they're a bad person. They're just protecting something, right? So I don't know that's not the best analogy, but you get the general gist, but yeah, dude, this episode is so good. And just using her black hole, she's like, oh, before I use black hole, is it okay if I do that? Like anytime she does anything with her magic, cause she knows she's busted. She has to make sure that the person who asks them to do it is held responsible for it. And of course the prince like, yeah, you can do it. And it's not gonna hurt in the sky. I'll assume responsibility if something actually does happen, which I doubt something does happen. And then, you know, you just see a giant black hole in the air and they're not gonna do squat about that. And she just closes it. And I'll have she goes all smug for a second. Then the prince is like, so crown prince, do you believe I'm level 99? and he's lost his shit you can just see his reaction he's like oh my god what the frick have i done so you know she was about to leave the country do her own thing but the only reason she's seeing now is because somebody asked her to use her full magic because she knows like the mage palace mage is like yo no pre principal gotta keep her she's very rare of course like for political reasons and stuff like that she could be very useful to the country helpful and all that jazz and of course they really want her and just to prove the point she doesn't oh my god dude i can't wait to see what happens in the next episode to see like how will everyone in the kingdom react because we see everyone see what goes on in the kingdom and you know she could probably destroy the whole kingdom itself if she went 100 percent like she could black hole the whole kingdom the kingdom would probably be erased off the map and that would be so freaking wild do i think they'll do it absolutely freaking not but dude man this episode is going up and up, dude. I just love this. This anime is so good. I'm so happy it got adapted. And the opening is so freaking good too, dude. Like, yo. What do you guys think about episode two of the Villainless Level 99? Are you excited for it to see what happens next? Are you happy for the anime? Are you looking for it to be a little bit more different? Do you, do you like the episode? Do you hate the episode? Let me know in the comments down below. I think this episode was amazing. I'm just so freaking excited, dude, for the what's to come next. But I'll see you guys for another one. Make sure to smash the like button so you don't miss, uh, not smash the like button, get subscribed to miss a future anime reactions, and I'll see you in another one. G-Man, out.